All right, YouTube, welcome back to a, another YouTube video. Thanks for being here. Let's start that over again. Welcome to another YouTube video and thanks so much for checking this out. Look at my girlfriend's new beautiful truck. Isn't this amazing? I can't wait to go explore and go to some little bit more remote kind of cool off-roady regions in this beast. So we are starting our annual Maine road trip and this one is going to be a little bit more different and a lot more special because my girlfriend and I have officially moved to Maine. It is June 28th I believe and her job is gonna start on July 9th, so we are got everything packed up and we're moving up now, and I'll be flying back to Michigan here at the end of the week and uh, getting ready to sell the house. So, super exciting times, and you can check out the previous series about kind of uh, what my plans are for Maine and what we wanna do, and when I say previous series, I mean uh, the playlist of the last uh, Maine road trip that's on there. So, today we're actually at, I believe it's pronounced Teganic Falls, so let's go check it out. So I've done a little bit of scouting for some compositions already. Just kind of pulling in. You'll see this nice big parking lot here. Get to pull right in. Lots of beautiful flowers here. Got the visitor center. It's not open right now, like right right now. It's pretty late, it's almost eight o'clock. Sunsets right now. But as you can see, it's actually very overcast. It actually looks like it might technically be raining way higher up, but um, more flowers and they're gonna talk a lot about flowers here. Now let's go check out the falls. So there's the observation point right here where you literally just drive right up this road, come all the way up through here. This is the parking lot and the platform. Cool, good to know that you can keep going up here and there's, looks like, some more trails that you can hike and look out and yeah lots of cool stuff I wish we definitely had more time but we're literally leaving right in the morning but I think tomorrow morning our plan is to take the gorge trail um, and so it just kind of takes you through the little river stream here and right to this little lookout platform and the falls is right here at the main falls that I'm about to show you guys and the Milky Way compositions here are incredible, especially in the later part of the summer, uh, June into August, September kind of area. You get a great vertical Milky Way composition uh, with the falls. So let's go. This talks about the geology of the falls. I wonder what's down there. So I've definitely seen shots from this place before. Maybe not Milky Way shots. I could probably Google it, but this is just beautiful. Let's go. Keep checking this out. And my original plan, I really like this composition right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand right on this little ledge here. that was here's a rock and I really like this vertical composition here I would put my camera in portrait orientation and I would actually get my 28 millimeter out because my 14 is just way too wide uh, and I would shoot the falls right here and I could probably do, do a vertical panorama if I wanted to 28 millimeter and that would probably do just fine uh, but since I got the wide here really just kind of depends. It's definitely too wide for any shots up here. This would be an absolutely stunning location in the fall as well. We come around here, looks like there's more seats and stuff. But there's gotta be graffiti, always graffiti. 
But as you can see way down there, there's that other trail system where you would uh, be able to check the falls out from down there. So really cool and looking forward to getting some shots. So I've gone ahead and switched to my 28 millimeter lens now so you can kind of see the framing of the falls at 28 millimeters. And I'm gonna put over here on the left the photo pills, like screenshots that I took of the composition that I really like. And what I think I actually might do is because it's supposed to be cloudy and possibly rainy pretty much all night, uh, I might make some fake composites. And what I mean by that is I shot the sky somewhere else, but the Milky Way is technically in the, cre uh, the correct position. So I really like this. I may never return here. Uh, it is an eight hour drive away from Maine and an eight hour drive away from Michigan. So, you know, it's pretty far for a one night trip, but hey, you know what? I might be crazy enough to do it. My original plan when I came here, or I shouldn't say when I came here, my original plan when I was scouting uh, just through photo pills, I was thinking I wanted to do a 50 millimeter uh, mosaic, probably six shots for the foreground and maybe three shots for the sky. Just all in portrait orientation, just one, two, three, and, and call it good. Uh, and then put everything together and uh, it, I'd be good to go. So I, I might do that um, with the composite that I was talking about, because I do have some shots that are like that, tracked uh, shots. So the only thing is, is this is a Bortle three, four area, pretty much. And I don't think I really have any Bortle three, four skies. So I would be compositing in Bortle two, maybe Bortle three skies, if I can find some. Uh, I just want to represent this as, you know, accurately as possible, even if it is kind of quote unquote fake. Good morning, it's the next morning, back at the Taganic Falls Lookout, and it rained basically all night last night so i'm hoping that the falls are falling much better right now we're gonna take a quick look at it again i'm gonna grab some quick pics and i hope you guys enjoyed the quick video and stay tuned for the pictures that i shot well there's the falls way over there but you know with that 14 millimeter on it just looks so small but it doesn't look any different from yesterday which is pretty surprising considering how much it rained which is also kind of a disappointment because i was hoping i would get a nice kind of rushing waterfall from up here but you know what i don't think the pictures will look any different and it's just ever so slightly hey, sprinkling so i don't want to be wiping my lens every hey, shot in the video so yet. i'm happy with the shots that hey, i got yesterday on. so hold on thanks for checking out this video and enjoy these hey, shots i said wait and hey here we are again we are actually back at uh, the waterfall, and it is about seven weeks later. It is now August 26th, and I can still not pronounce this waterfall's name. So why don't we do a quick dark sky reading? We are at 21.28. I did get several readings, 21.32, 22, 2.3, and now 2.8. So overall, pretty good, pretty dark, but you have to keep in mind that you're in this cavern as well, blocking a lot of the light pollution, so it does look pretty dang good to the eyesight anyways. Um, I have a time lapse going over here. It's gonna get a great shot of the Great Rift kind of going over and across the waterfall, but now I wanna go back and I want to go up to this upper looking, uh, upper view deck from earlier because now I'm down in the cavern. So let's pack up, let's get up there, and let's get that shot because the Milky Way will line up in about an hour and it's about a 15 minute uh, walk back to the car. So thankfully it's really quick, but let's get going because we got to get set up up there, grab that mosaic, and then kind of mosey our way back here and hopefully pick up the camera after it's taken about two, three hours worth of uh, lapsing. And I am back up here at the Upper Falls Lookout and it is about time to start working on some foreground shots. So it is 1040, 
the Milky Way is gonna line up perfectly at about 11. I'm gonna do a 50 millimeter mosaic with maybe four to five different sky shots, maybe eight, I'm not sure. I might do two rows just in case, but I think I might do a quick, maybe Verderama with the 28 millimeter, uh, or I might do a, a panorama, maybe three or four shot, nothing too crazy with the 28 millimeter because I like the wide look rather than the tall look uh, for this particular location. But without further ado, let's get started on these shots. And thanks for clicking on this video. And I hope you enjoy this time-lapse and these legit night shots. Well, actually, what I'll do for you guys is I will post the fake shots first, and then I'll put the legit shots second. But thanks again, and thanks for clicking on this video.